So many of you would have asked yourselves at least this question at least once is, is there any free will? And if you've been on the path of a spiritual path and maybe you're going through an awakening, you want to know, was my life intercepted by a higher power than myself? Have I always enacted my life and my life events, situations, through my willing it, through my free will? Or has it been the case that we have surrendered to a higher will that is not ours and that there is a bigger picture? Some call it a God, some call it spirit, some call it space, some call it universal consciousness. Some might even call it higher self. So, I'm going to give you an example. When we are putting on these clothes, putting on other clothes, right? So, if you are to go to work, you may have a different set of outfit for that. You may have a different set of clothes for other situations, right? Now, do the clothes make the person or does the person make the clothes? Does the person make the outfit or is the outfit making the person? Think about this. When you wear a particular outfit, do you become the outfit? Does the outfit develop its own personality, thereby becoming an entity that is living and independent of you? Not really, because it is the bearer of that outfit that is going to Make or break what happens in that outfit. So, it's a bit like the individuate sense of self is driven by ego. Ego is very necessary. It's essential, in fact, for us to experience a degree of separateness because it is that degree of separation that's going to fuel the power for this individuate sense of self and the individuate sense of self being the fuel itself to carry out a command that does not come from the individuate sense of self, but it is in fact coming from the command center which we can say our higher self, which we can say it's a self that is not a self that is limited to the current vehicle that we are presented in. So right now your current vehicle would be the body that you're in. This is my current vehicle, that this is the body that I'm wearing at the moment. So this is the body that I'm wearing at the moment. Like when you're in a car, you're driving the car, but the car, right? Who is going to drive the car? Is it you are driving the car or the fuel or the car itself that is driving itself? We have free will as long as the I or the you or the we that we are associating with is the I beyond the outfit, beyond the garb, beyond the car, beyond the vehicle. That I has free will. And that is then what we say that we are operating from a place of Pure consciousness. 
when we are driven by the fuel which is the ego now when your our ego decides our individuate sense of self so the individuation which will be this current vehicle if this vehicle says i am now identifying myself with i am kirat and kirat is the only reality and so therefore whatever it is you say that you are you will be driven from that now when that happens ego which is going to be the fuel to ignite the higher command into action will now create conflict because the vehicle will mistakenly believe itself to be an independent entity that is capable of making decisions now that's what we then say is the veil of illusion maya that's the maya that we get stuck in that belief i am the name i identify myself with the body and therefore the existence that is identifiable within the ambit of this body's reality which would be everything that happens right so when you don't see the higher self as being the causal force and you then begin to identify with me as the causal force now this is where all of those other things happen that men start to contract consciousness because there's a conflict that arises when that conflict arises it might take a lot for you to then realize that whoa wait a minute i'm not my body in fact i exist beyond this body all of the time so i as the individuate expression of self has no free will i as the expression of the self the highest self has free will as long as you act in expansive consciousness not contracting because the higher self will never ever ever want to act in contraction but will always want to be in expansion will want to know itself even more and this is why we have life events we have so many situations that come back calling cards that come back to say hey wake up wake up you're asleep right now this is not reality this is not real and this is where if you want to go create your reality you want to become a creator you must be able to tune into the higher self and then you can will your wish into action take care and let me know whether you feel that you have free will or not lots of love don't forget to share and follow us